YouTube, it's me Christiana. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the vlog. So today we are, you are coming along with me for my like monthly outing. <laughs> Ever since the global chicken panini like popped off, it has made my willingness to be out and about just like, like non-existent. And um, I started realizing at some point that I only really go outside maybe twice a month. Um, I haven't been outside in two weeks, like not even to just sit on the porch and get air or anything. I just kind of looked up and realized that the last time I was outside was for a show I had two weeks ago. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get some fresh air. I decided to go take a walk, um, maybe walk around South Philly because there's a fabric store down there. Whoa, oh my God. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's a cat. Hold on. Can I get it? Can I get the cat? There's a cat. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I live next door to basically a jungle. And um sometimes there are like cats and stuff. Oh my god, my like soul. I can't wait to see how I looked. <laughs> but like my soul just like jumped out. Ooh. Okay. Anyway. So um the point is that I'm going to South Philly. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take public trans because that's the easiest thing to do. Take public trans down there, um, walk around, get some fresh air. Maybe I'll go into Philly AIDS and see what's going on because I haven't been in there in so, so long. Um, there's a black owned hair store down there, but I don't really think I need to be going up in there. But if I happen to figure out where it is, maybe I'll go in. Um, there's also this this store like so many of my favorite stores in the city are on South Street uh, And this is why I'm like I kind of need to think through what I'm really doing because I'm not really trying to spend Not really trying to spend But I do want to go to the fabric store and see if they got some black uh, faux leather for me because I am full on Black Friday holiday mode with my handmade shop and I I need just a little more material to have um, what will be my inventory for the rest of the season. There's a lot going on around here. That's the Amazon man. The whole reason I decided to go ahead and do my intro was because um, I saw on my phone that they were three stops away, but not them knocking like they the fucking police. Like the damn police. Sheesh. All this over some tissue paper. I ordered um, some pink tissue paper because I usually use orange because my logo is pink and orange, but I just wanted some pink. I wanted pink uh, for the season. And I also got some, some like larger poly mailers. The mailers I use are, are not like with the bubble inside. And uh, I really wanted to get these for the season too. So yeah, that's my life. And now that that's happened, I can get going. Okay, so I made it to South Street and um, I like, I literally haven't taken the bus in a very very long time and i forgot that like ever since i became someone who can drive whenever i am not driving sometimes i get like i don't know car sick <laughs> do i get car sick from being on the bus i'm incredibly queasy right now um but oh excuse me but i made it and i actually think that I want to go to Philly AIDS first just because um, I don't have any bags yet and like I'm definitely making a purchase at the fabric store and so like I don't want to like have to lug that before I've like gone to see if there's anything else I might want um, so I'm gonna do that first and um, I think I also might want to get Ishka Bibbles for lunch since I'm down here. Uh, Ishka Bibbles, I don't, okay, so everybody knows like 
Philly cheesesteak, blah, 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 right? Um, but there are just some that hit better than others. And Ishka Bills is one of them. And um, I think I want to stop before I go home and get some Ishka Bibbles. Which also means that I would have to Uber home because uh, there's no way for you to eat in there. So this ain't that. But also that traveling a long distance with hot food like that is just not it. Some of my like best dresses have been found over here. Okay, I don't know what is going on, but Philly 8th was like empty. It wasn't nothing going on in there, but also like if I'm being honest, I think it's been like heading in that direction for a while. So we are now um, just coming up on my favorite fabric shop in the city, Jack B Fabric, and I'm not sure if they're open. Okay, they are open. They didn't look open, but they are open. Let's hit it. Well, my friends think I'm a different kind, but there's nothing wrong with sharing my mind to everyone else. Everyone else, everyone else will think that it's weird. So maybe I might start keeping it clean and bear with the whole unusual feeling. I'll be alright, we'll be alright. We'll I've be literally had a headache since I woke up this morning, but I actually thought it was just because I didn't have any coffee yet. Oh, here, there's my store. Wow. So one of my favorite stores, Moon and Arrow, they moved locations sometime before the pandemic, and I almost walked clean past them and didn't realize. saying my head is killing me and I'm probably not gonna spend too much more time out here <laughs> uh, I am going to go to Ishka Bibbles get my cheesesteak and then I'm gonna go home but um, moon and arrow so when I first first started my handmade shop I like had I guess dreams of being able to get a collaboration with them and be able to like sell my stuff out of their store because they do that with a lot of local artists and stuff and it just I just never ended up being able to do that and then when all the Black Lives Matter stuff happened George Floyd all that stuff like they were talking about like maybe helping out more folks of color and like all of this stuff. And I ended up, I just remember like as I'm telling this, like that I actually could make connections with the woman who owns the store. And we talked about like, once we see what the pandemic was gonna do, maybe we could link back up and um, discuss maybe having Silently Loud in the store. I forgot until just now. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go back through my dms when i get home and see what i can find uh because it would still make my heart flutter to be able to have at least like two bags in that store you know what i mean and i know they can sell it at a higher point than i usually do so i could probably still sell it to them at my price point um but we'll see we'll see on a different note i 
brought a couple of bags with me to be able to photograph because I knew that it was gonna be like plenty orange out here and it is so I just want to find like a good little spot um, to take some photos of my bags My head is killing me, but I have um, Advil, Advil, and my Ishka Bibbles. So <laughs> I'm going to sit here and eat my cheese steak and hope for the best because it's not even four o'clock yet. And I kind of want to, I know that I'm going to be in my sewing room today. So I got to get myself like in the right frame of mind for that because I'm just not right now. <laughs> My head is killing me and I don't know why. So it's much, much later. <laughs> much, much later. I had to lay down. I just, I, I'm feeling really quirky today. There's something on the, on the screen. <laughs> I'm feeling really quirky today. And maybe it is just because I went outside. <laughs> Which is out of the ordinary for me. Um, but even though I'm still kind of feeling quirky and my headache is only just subsiding, I am going to cut some fabric to get myself kind of situated for the week and days ahead that I'm still in here grinding my ass off. This room looks crazy because it is literally a war room, but I've made a ton of progress. Um, I like... It, it doesn't seem like a lot, but let me tell you, it took me three days to make these. <laughs> um, but this is like 60 bags here for both my online sale that I'm going to be having and um, for me to take to some shows that I have lined up. And then I still like have more. There's so much fabric everywhere. This is the fabric I bought today. It's uh, two yards of black like pleather that I'm getting ready to cut up. And I also got some white pleather, which I never, I've never made a white uh, clutch before. I usually stay away from white, but it was calling on me, so I just got it. And then I still have like another maybe 50 bags here that need to be put on zippers. So I'm, I'm getting it done, you know what I mean? There's like literally just like fabric everywhere in here. It's a mess. Um, last night, I was working on putting lining in these bags and my big bags. I have like four more and the one on the table over here to do, which I wish I really had the strength to do it tonight, but I'm fucking bust. I'm busted for the rest of it. <laughs> like I'm so tired. Um, it's just not going to happen.
literally 10 o'clock at night right now. This has been a really long day. I have Cheez-Its. My hope is that when I go to look at the footage and put together this vlog, that I have um, thoroughly conveyed how happy I was that I made it down to South Street today because it's been so, so long. And also just like, you know, given the time, uh, my social anxiety and my willingness to like do stuff outside of my home is like, eh. <laughs> so I'm actually surprised at myself for actually making the plan and then really going out and doing it on my own. Just being down there felt really nostalgic being in the fabric stores were felt really nostalgic and just even specifically jack b fabrics like when i you know again six years ago i just got the the reminder on my facebook i want to say um like you know how facebook shows you like pictures and stuff like that and like, six years ago ten years ago da 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 so i actually just got the the reminder like maybe three days ago um, that it actually has been six years that I've been doing this and when I first got the clarity that I needed around what I was going to be making for my handmade shop because all I knew is that I wanted to sell some stuff I wanted to make some stuff and I wanted to make a good product that I felt good about and I but I didn't really know what I was going to be selling or making uh, and once I landed on the idea of like making these little bags alongside of the big bags that I make. I got so excited and I ran down to Jack B Fabrics and like spent a ton of money, <laughs> a ton of money on all kinds of fabric. And every time I got paid, I would go down there and I was working, you know, a job where I was literally just like making $15 an hour. And I would run down there every pay period. And then just to see that I'm still here. I'm still doing the thing that I love doing. Um, even though I do have my days where I'm like, eh, do I wanna keep doing this? Not my battery dying. Okay, so my battery died, but I'm pretty sure I was getting ready to say that like, even though sometimes I do have days where I'm like, eh, do I wanna keep doing this or whatever? And I am going to be uh, cutting back drastically after the holidays on what I keep in the shop moving forward. Uh, just because I am, I'm, I'm working on other stuff and don't have the time to commit to certain things anymore. As I'm seeing now, I'm struggling to get my, my holiday inventory together like it needs to be, but I'm doing it. Going into Philly AIDS, uh, just reminds me of the old days running around South Philly with my best friend. Um, and it's been a minute since me and her have been there together. We would always like go to Philly AIDS and then go to Sushi Planet, which I didn't get to show you guys Sushi Planet cause I, I didn't eat sushi today, but um, my favorite sushi restaurant is also around the corner from where I was at today. <laughs> but I did get some Ishka Bibbles, so that made me really happy. <laughs> Yes, I ate that whole thing. I was feeling so sick. My stomach was so like stretched. <laughs> anyway, what a day. <laughs> I know I'm going to sleep so good all that walking. <laughs> anyway, I hope that this vlog has been enjoyable. If you are still here, please, please, please uh, leave a like on this video and leave a comment um, and let's chit chat. I love chit-chatting. <laughs> Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.